This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9, the cheapest and latest edition of tablets that Samsung have launched in 2023. This Tab A9 was launched alongside its bigger brother, the Tab A9 Plus, which I will look at in a separate video. The Tab A9 comes in at a price of 4,000 rands here in South Africa, and that is for the Wi-Fi only model. And the Tab A9 Plus is 6,000 rands, also again for the Wi-Fi only model. I have the Wi-Fi model here, but the LTE version will be slightly more expensive. You can pause the video now to see the pricing of these tablets in other regions. Before continuing, I think it's important to look at the predecessor of this tablet to understand where it falls in Samsung's tablet range. So initially, I thought this tablet is the successor to the Tab A8. However, after doing more research, I realized that the Tab A9 is in fact the successor to the Tab A7 Lite, and the Tab A9 Plus is the successor to the Tab A8. I thought I would just point this out for you guys so that there's no confusion when comparing these tablets to its previous generation. So anyways, when it comes to the unboxing, the Tab A9 comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, user manual and SIM ejector tool. There is no case or charging brick, but unfortunately that's where we are in terms of unboxings in 2023. The color that I have here is the graphite color, but it also comes in a silver and navy option. Taking a look at the body of the tablet, the Tab A9 sports an 8.7 inch display, which allows it to sit compact in the hands, and I found it really easy to hold the tablet. The tablet is made primarily of plastic, and the back panel has a slight dual tone finish. The tablet is super light feeling in the hand, and it weighs just over 300 grams. Despite using plastic as the main material, the tablet does not feel cheap. Taking a look around the Tab A9, the bottom has the USB-C port, which supports 15 watts fast charging, the main microphone, speaker, and headphone jack, which is always welcomed. The top has the secondary speaker, making this tablet a dual speaker setup. This speaker setup also has Dolby Atmos support. The right-hand side has the volume rockers and power button, as well as the secondary microphone. The left hand side has the micro SD card slot and SIM slot. My model is the Wi-Fi only model, hence the SIM slot is closed. Other things to note is that this tablet does not have Samsung DeX or S Pen support. So if you need these features, you will have to look at the S series tablets. In the display department, the Tab A9 has a TFT LCD display with a resolution of 1340 by 800 pixels. In my short time with this tablet, I think it's safe to say the screen is not one of the strong points of this tablet, as the display is not super sharp and also does not get very bright. The screen also has a PPI of just 179 and the refresh rate is kept at 60Hz. Also there are quite decent size bezels on the top, chin and sides of the display. Performance wise, the Tab A9 has a nice upgrade from its predecessor as it uses the Helio G99, which is a solid processor in my opinion, at the budget price point. I have made a full review of the Samsung Galaxy A24 smartphone, which uses the exact processor as the Tab A9, and I was happy with the A24's performance. As I have had this tablet for only a few days, I am yet to give a final verdict of the performance, but here is the Antutu and Geekbench scores which I tested, and it shows a significant upgrade over the Tab A7 Lite, and in fact the scores are higher than on the Galaxy A24. Of course benchmark scores don't always give the whole picture, so I would suggest waiting for the full review. My model also comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, which is expandable via the SD card slot, which is fantastic. Apparently there is also an 8GB of RAM with 128GB of storage model in other regions. The battery of the Tab A9 is just 5100 mAh, which is what we see on many smartphones nowadays. In my one full day of using the tablet, I got around just under 7 hours of screen on time, and the tablet just about lasted me a day, and this was light to medium usage. This will of course vary from person to person, and I will need to test this over a longer period of time, but based on my brief testing and initial thoughts, I think the Tab A9 will struggle with battery life in the long run. The back camera is an 8 megapixel shooter and the front camera is just 2 megapixels. 
That front camera is also the only form of biometric authentication for this tablet, as it utilizes this lens for face unlocking. There is no fingerprint reader on this guy. At the time of launch, the Tab A9 has Android 13 with One UI 5.1 on top of it. So this was just a brief look and hands-on with the Galaxy Tab A9. I will be making a full review of this tablet, so make sure to sub to the channel to check that video out. If you have any questions or specifics you would like for me to check out whilst reviewing the Tab A9, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.